Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we're going to be making a new how-to video today. Well, actually, this is actually going to span over a few days, I believe. Uh, I'm currently in the middle of trying to move. I've bought a house, uh, my first home. So, anyhow, uh, but I'm out here today, and we're going to try to cover a topic that is asked a lot. I've asked it so many times, I've probably made people probably just want to throw their keyboard at me. But anyhow, nonetheless, I'm not the only one that's asked this, and I know this is very uh, need-to-know information. So, let me spin you around here and I'll show you. As you can see, we've got wires everywhere. And when you do this LS swap, you want to know... After you get your harness, your motor down there, you got your harness. Well, what wires do I hook up to my harness? What wires need to go where? So, with the help of uh, a group on Facebook, um, I'm sorry I went blank, but the link to the group will be down in the video description. Uh, Scotty has answered this question numerous times to numerous people, probably me more than any. But anyhow, as you can see, I've got my motor in there. I've got my harness on there. Got my computer in there. And I'm to the point where I need to get my wiring done. It is a mess, and I'd like to clean things up a little bit. So, what do we need to hook up, and what do we not need to hook up? Well, on his Facebook page, uh, there's a group on there. Um, he has instructions. This is your bulkhead that comes out of your firewall. And as you can see, if you're like me, all those wires can get overwhelming trying to figure out which one's which and what do I need. But hopefully we can answer those in this video. There is a, uh, a file section on that group. It gives a picture of what wires is left. Out of that bulkhead in other words uh, I'll give you a, a tip right now these wires right here this group of wires here all of these you will not mess with all of these wires over on this side you will not mess with what we're focused on is this big bundle of wires here as you can see that is what's going to control your starter, uh, all the power that goes to your ignition. The other wires are your headlights, tail lights, you know, things like that. Those are the wires, that group of wires there is what we need. And if you follow that, it goes behind the brake booster, right there, it comes all the way around here and you can see. Starter, uh, you got your oil, alternator, you know stuff like that over this video we're going to try to show you what we're going to eliminate and what we're going to keep so um i will tell you now you shouldn't need the alternator wire because the ls has the alternator wire on it um it'll go straight to your alternator to your battery cable you know it's it's already there it's already wired in to your harness right here there's your plug for your alternator so that wire i know we will be removing the picture shows what wire needs to go where uh it, or should i say the picture will tell you which wires to uh, illuminate but we're going to do a video because like i said i'm no good at pictures or written out information i'm a guy that if i see it on video i'm like i got that so i'm trying to help you all just as much as I know I need to help. Again, this will not be a one day video as I work every day. Um, and then after work, during the summer, I have to drive around spraying for mosquitoes for four hours at five miles an hour. Anyhow, enough of my life story. We will get to that. So let me get this bulkhead unbolted and we're gonna try to unpin those. Yeah, you could go through there cutting them off and taping them or whatever but i would rather unpin them 
just as you do whenever you make your own standalone harness. I'd rather unpin those because I'm not going to need them. Remove them out of the whole harness, put some new wire loom on it, make it look good. So, uh, you have one center bolt inside of that bulkhead. Let me get you down here and I'll show you. As you can see right there, you've got a bolt right there. You take that off or you're, in, you're in, under that bolt. The bulkhead will come off and you'll be able to start unpinning these. So, let me get this out and we will come back. All right, guys, real quick, before I unbolted the bulkhead down there, it's still bolted in there. Uh, I went ahead and fished out that harness, which is right here. I took the uh, loom tape, whatever you want to call that, off of there. This wire here, and let's find the other one. This wire here, both of these wires. Were bolted right there with that fuse block on the uh, firewall um, now that I've got all this unwound from inside of there and all up and around there we'll go ahead and get this unbolted and we'll come back and we'll show you how to uh, unpin those and which ones you don't need okay guys real quick it's getting dark out here but I want to show you something if you look inside of these plugs after you unplug those you'll see it's got like some kind of gooey crap anyhow um, what you want to do is I already got one pulled out here and this is what it looks like okay there's two ways you can you can do this okay this hook if you can see there's a line down the center of that right there okay let me clean that off a little bit there you go as you can see that is made to separate right here there's actually a bigger gap this lip right here on the very edge is actually spread out further what you'll do is you'll push this wire or pull the wire you'll pull the plug from here whatever wire you want out just pull it up a little bit with some pliers and then you'll take the tip of that what I use was needle nose and you'll you'll pinch these together creating that way it'll close that gap that way whenever you go to pull the wire out it's not going to hook that prong that's going to keep it in there you will just let it come straight out um, I don't have my tripod right now or else I would show you me doing one of them uh, if I can this bottom wire here has to come out Let me see if I can find something to prop the camera up. Alright guys, I got a buddy holding the, uh, the phone, camera, whatever. Um, this pink wire is tied in with this green wire. The one I already pulled out, or blue wire, I'm sorry. Uh, this is another one that I do not need. So what I'm going to do is try to push it up. You can get in a little closer if you want. I'm going to try to push it up through there a little bit. I know which prong it is. Or I said I did. <laughs> Ouch, I'm getting tore up by mosquitoes. Alright, there we go. So I'm going to wiggle around so I can see which one it is. I believe it's this one. is a little tricky here so bear with me all right so we it's this one right here so what we're going to do is try to pull it out just a tad just like that and as you'll see it's got a little hook it's actually not spreaded that far but what i'm going to do is grab that get this stuff out of the way there and I'm just going to try to pinch it closed just like that it closes up that gap then I'm going to pull it through you can either pinch it closed or you can take and just 
break that off right there just so this lip right here is not hooked all right now i'm gonna pull it through It's trying to hook so if that method don't work just like I said see it spread it back out and it hooked itself what we'll do is clip that piece off just like that if you don't like getting dirty uh, you might want to pick a different hobby to do because this is nasty. 